Oh, brilliant. It's been so oh, 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 oh. Hollywood, Hollywood checkouts. Double top, double top. Second line is Dean and the Tom Fogers. Dream on. Dream dance. Love it. Hi, everyone. Scottish Cowboy here. Welcome back to the Scottish Cowboy Darts channel. Today, we're going to be having a look at the Lorraine Winstanley Target Darts. These are a set of darts I've been wanting to review for a few months now. I finally got my hands on them. I've got them from Premier Darts. Next day delivery, as usual, order them on a Tuesday or a Wednesday or a Thursday. You order before, I think it's 3pm, you get them next day delivery. Great service. So let's get a look at the box, get the darts out, have a throw, do a wee recap, and see what we think of them. Packaging of the Lorraine Winstan with darts. It's a very striking looking box. Nice picture of Lorraine's face. Looking kind of sinister on the front. Nice clear window with her name. So you can see one full dart in the window. Tells you they're 26 grams, 90% tungsten and steel tip. On the back you've got another little window seeing the three flights with Lorraine Winstanley's initials. A nice picture of Lorraine again on the back. And just telling you about the li lifetime guarantee for the barrels. And just a wee bit of information about the 0.05 match weighted. So let's get them open and have a little look. So before we take a close look at the darts. I'll just tell you. I purchased these from Premier Darts. Fairly new. To the actual online shop not new new but fairly new they started on ebay a few years ago but their service is impeccable these were 61 pounds and 95 pence and that includes your shipping which if you order i'm thinking before three o'clock it's next day delivery so let's get them out have a little look Darts. As you know, the packaging with Target, nice foam insert, keeps the darts nice and clean. On the back, you get your little leaflet, tells you 26 grams, guaranteed the match weightedness to 0 0.05. So, if you don't know what that means, that just means that every dart is matched in weight to 0 0.05 of a gram, plus or minus. So, there can be a difference between the darts of 0 0.1. That allows... Plus or minus 0 0.05. So move that to the side. Move three of the darts away. So as soon as I open up, you realise it's a nice dart to look at. The black titanium nitride coating on the barrel is really nice. A nice little etching with the target logo is nice. Just comes with standard uh, silver points. Which if I, would, if I keep these, I will replace them with either black or gold. I just don't like this silver ones. I don't think they grip the board good enough for me. You've got your Pro Grip Intermediate Stem and your Lorraine Wynn Stanley Flight. So let's take a wee closer look at the barrel. And we'll get some dimensions. These come in either 24 or 26 grams. I'm going to be reviewing the 26 grams. As you can see here, the 26 grams, it's got a barrel length of 46.2 millimetres, so it's not that long, it's quite a short barrel, and a diameter of 7.9 millimetres. The 24 grams, if you were thinking about getting them, they are 44 millimetres long and 7.85 millimetres diameter. Supplied with standard number 6 flights, intermediate pro grip stems, and these stems, as you can see, they're quite see-through. They're called the Vision Ultra flights. So, 
they're quite nice as well. For you people that like to punch the, your flights, there. They're hard, but they're not too hard, if you know what I mean. So, the barrel. Let's have a look at the barrel. As you can see, it's quite thin. Radial grooves, it's on it. They've got a flat top on them. Grooves are quite separated. They're quite thick. I won't have a wee measure to see how th uh, wide the grooves are. These are one millimeter pitch grooves. They're really, really nice. The, the detail in this is better than I thought it would be, to be fair. These are straight out of the box. If you look at that barrel, you see how the nose tapers and you, it's as if it's coming up in steps up towards the biggest diameter. So we'll get a wee measure of this in a minute, but I just want to let you see how nice the barrel is. For people that grip at the front on the nose, that's actually quite a good place to grip on this. There's grip in the it's fierce grip in the middle. At the rear, it's smooth. But if you didn't, if you hold it close to the rear, you've got a good grip as well. It, it is, it's an aggressive grip. Very, very thin grooves. The groove itself is, as I measured there, was one millimetre pitch. But the bit you're holding on, that's half a mil. There, the land you're holding, it's only half a mil. So you do get that feeling. That's probably my skin that's coming off on the, the barrel. So it's a nice long dart. Let's get, give it a little measure and see how it sizes up compared to what it tells you on the website. So the point, the point will just be the standard 26mm points. We'll measure that and get out of the road first. There you go, 25.23, so standard 26mm point. Now on the website it says the barrel is 46.2 long. 46.23, I'm not going to grumble at that. Diameter, 7.95, it says 7.9, it's 7.94. So that's, that's okay me from 0.93, that's fine. But as you can see, it tapers up to the back, to the back being just under 6mm. That's it tapering to the exact diameter of the stem, so it meets to the stem quite flush. Your front bit of taper here, this is just a rough guide, is roughly 6mm. Then you've got a flat bit of about 7mm before it starts to taper down towards the back of the barrel. So you see that's a tapered towards the back section there. You've got parallel section here and then tapering to the front here. So the sizes all match up. I always like to have a little look at the threads because I used to be an engineer and screw cutting, you've got to have a nice thread. Choose them and that's very well finished. So the barrel very nice barrel. I'm going to take you three of them apart, give them away, not give them away for free, give them away as in wear them. Don't get excited. So, let's see how good they are being match weighted. So, you stick the first one on, and we've got 26.12. Put the next one on. 26.04 and 26.12 so between the lightest 26.04 and the heaviest 26.12 that is 0 0.08 so that's in the tolerance of your plus or minus 0 0.05 but what I would like is when you, you get these and it tells you on the back of it and this is directed at target that says 26 grams so in my opinion this should be match weighted to between 0 0.05 of that either way so if you take 26 grams that is 0 0.13 out so that's over the 0 0.05 0 0.14 out of the 0 0.05 0.03 that's perfect so just for the 
point of match weirdness, I would say 26.13, 26.04, and then 20, oops, sorry, and 26.12, that to me, they should be matched better than that, just in my opinion, that's been very pernickety, because you'll not notice that, throwing the darts, you'll not notice that, but we'll build it up and get a full dart weight, this is the standard supplied setup, and it is 27.83. So we've seen the dart, I've held the dart, feels nice. Let's get it over to the board, give it a little throw, see if we can hit any treble 20s. See if we can hit 20s, that'd be good. And then we'll do a wee recap. So we've got the Raymond Stanley's in our hand here and I'm going to be honest, I, I like the feel of them already. They feel similar to the RVB's Gen 4's and the Echo's with the grip level and the way the nose is. Just a little bit bigger diameter I think. Nice 60 to start with. Going in the board well for me. So far, we've got a nice dart to hold, a nice dart to throw, the standard setup supplied, okay, I'll buy a flyer there, oh, 21, back to my normal, so as I said, these came from Premier Darts. You can also get them from Target Darts and other stockists, but I'm just telling you where I got them. I would change the point, definitely. There's no resistance whatsoever coming out of the board. They're going in the board well. Not. They're going straight, which is a bonus for me. And I will get this floor fixed, don't worry. say come on more often so if anybody's got these darts because these have been out for a while they're not a new dart would you let me know how you've got on with them oh. I could get used to these I could use these that's two girls darts two ladies darts I've reviewed so far oh, I really like both of them So I'll have one more throw, then we'll do a little recap and give me my the verdict out of them. What I will say is, before then, the grip level on these is at least four, four and a half. They're not like the Protex, the Unicorn Protex. They're just, on a scale of one to five, they're seven. The Protex, they're just too grippy, they, they, they cut your hands. Whereas these, they're grippy but they're releasing, they're coming out fairly well. Actually flowing better relaxed. <sighs> Couldn't get this on the finish. So, to recap on the Lorraine, it's a hard thing for me to say, Lorraine Wynn Stanley. It's a tongue twister, Lorraine Wynn Stanley darts. Very attractive dart to look at. The colours go well. The grip, as I said, would be a minimum of 4 out of 5. It's a very good grip. 
I would only change the points. That's the only thing we that's would change was change the points to either gold or black. Black probably suits them a lot better. On the RVB scale, as you know, I do have them with RVB 95 Echoes. These are a solid 8 out of 10, maybe going up to an 8.5. Eight and They're just a really nice dart to throw. The grip level, excellent. The balance, front weighted, excellent. Going to the board, excellent. The only down grade on this is the points. If they had came with either black points, probably just black points, that give you that little bit more adhesion to the board, these would be up at 9. But just because of the points, they're, they're at 8. Please guys, have a go with these. Tell me what you think. If you've already got them, please leave a comment and tell me if you like them. Ladies darts is massive. And you'll... People may be under the impression, oh, it's a lady's dart, it's not for a man. These are perfect for anybody. There's no such a thing as a, a dart for a girl or a dart for a man. Lady, gentleman, girl, boy. Darts are darts. There is no boundaries in darts about what dart you throw. Because a, a lady professional throws it, doesn't mean say a man shouldn't throw it. And vice versa, if a man professional throws it, it's no suited for a lady. You find a dart. It suits you, you go with it. And these are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. As I said, 8 out of 10. Got them for Premier Darts. I will put a link in the comments to purchase the darts from Premier Darts. Give them a try. I'll also put a link in for Target Darts because you'll get more information about Lorraine Man Stanley. Get a look at the other stuff in the range for the flights and that. But please give these a go. The price point is fine as far as I'm concerned because the dart is good quality. There's a lot of machining in this, a lot of work in it. The packaging is lovely. You're always going to pay a little bit more for a player dart than you would be a non-player dart just due to the royalties that the player will be getting and the actual player's name just being on the dart. So don't want to waffle on too much. But I'm very surprised with these darts. I was looking forward to trying them. I said that at the beginning. I've been trying to try and pull. But I didn't expect to go on with them as good as I did. So if you've liked what you've seen guys. Please hit the subscribe button. Give me a wee thumbs up. Leave a comment. No matter if you just think it's to say good review. Bad review. What you think of them. Just leave a wee comment. Let me know you're watching. And I'll get back to you. So guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Filming this on a Saturday morning. But most of all, keep enjoying your darts and I'll catch you on the next review.